What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Are you looking for a little hanky panky in your life? And no, I'm not talking about the kind of behavior that could get you in trouble here. Of course not. I'm talking about the classic gin cocktail that's been delighting drinkers for over a century. Well, that's what we're doing today and we're gonna make two of them. We're gonna make it the way known or accepted as the classic recipe and we're also gonna make it the way I learned to make it, which was for years what I believe was the classic way. But I haven't had the other one in a very long time, so we're gonna make them both side by side today. We're gonna pick a favorite and hopefully you're gonna add a new delightful cocktail to your drink routine. So if that sounds good to you, go grab your mixing glass, your bottle of gin, and let's make together some hanky pankies. Let's go. So the Hanky Panky was created in the early 1900s by Ada Coleman at the American Bar of the Silver Hotel in London. She created this drink for Sir Charles Archery, which was a regular patron of the American Bar. He also had the reputation of having a very good palate when it came to cocktails, so Coley, that was her nickname, had a lot of pleasure testing her recipes on him. And one night, rumor has it that he sat at the bar requesting for something strong, so she served him this cocktail and his reaction was... That's why I'm gonna butcher some British accent here, so forgive me. By lord, this is the real hanky panky. Not even close. But you know what I mean, and the name stuck. And this was a popular slang term at that time that was often used to describe something that was sneaky, underhanded, or a little naughty. So the name was a playful nod to the mischieving and intriguing nature of the cocktail. So that's it for the history. Now what you're gonna need to make it is dry gin, sweet vermouth, and Fernand Branca. For the gin today, I'm using Beefeater. That's my go-to when it comes to London Dry, especially for classic cocktails. Honestly, if I had to pick only one bottle of gin for the rest of my life, I think that would be it. Now, for the sweet vermouth, I'm using Carpano Classico, which is a great full-bodied sweet vermouth and it's not overpowering neither. So I think it's great in this cocktail, but honestly, the Anki Pinky is quite forgiving when it comes to the sweet vermouth. So as long as you use one that you like, you're gonna make a cocktail that you're gonna enjoy. Now for the third ingredients, you're gonna need some Fernet. I'm using Fernet Branca, which is the one that the cocktail was created with. But honestly, if you have another Fernet that you like at home, you can use that instead. Now let's make the cocktails. We're gonna make them both side by side. We're gonna start with the classic recipe. So we're gonna go with one ounce and a half for 45 mils of gin. One ounce and a half or 45 mils of sweet vermouth. and a quarter of an ounce or 7.5 mils of Fernet Branca. Then for my specs, I'm gonna go with two ounces of gin, one ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth, and one third of an ounce or 10 mils of the Fernet Branca. Now we're gonna add ice and stir. We're gonna strain the cocktails into chilled cocktail coops. We're gonna express some orange oil over the cocktails. Gonna rub the outside of the coop with the zest. And this is how we make some hanky pankies. Now, let's try the classic version first. Cheers. Hmm. I forgot how good it was this way. That's a tough call. On both of them, obviously, we get some beautiful and intense orange notes, but the attack of the classic one is the vermouth. It's almost weird to say, because vermouth are very herbaceous, but with the higher dose of sweet vermouth and the classic specs makes it less herbaceous. We don't get as much the botanicals of the gin and the fernet is kind of really like merging. It's really well balanced, but it's not two different layers of flavors. It's like both the fernet and the sweet vermouth are making one while in the heavier gin, version, 
that I really like. It is drier, more on the botanicals. The fernet is a little more present and I think this might be why I've been making my Anki Banky that way for such a long time because I really love the fernet. I love drier drinks. It's two completely different drinks. And I guess at this point, it really comes down to your personal preferences. It's a really tough call. And honestly, I don't think there's a clear winner here. I don't know if you like a little sweeter, if you're not a huge fan of the Fernet, but still embrace some bitterness, I would recommend the classic way. And if you really like your gin and you want to highlight and make it shine through this style of cocktail, definitely go with my specs. You will not be disappointed, but I think we need a conclusion still. So if it's your first time having a hanky pinky, pay tribute to Coley and have yourself the classic one. Cheers, my friends. This is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go to turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.